High winds and extremely dry conditions have firefighters across the state of Texas battling wildfires. Now, sorry for this, but it's really coming down right now. I want to tell you a quick story. I met a woman about an hour ago. She was trapped in a medical building just on the other side of the street from this is St. John Hospital. We've heard a lot about and seen about. Well, the reaction to bin Laden's death was swift and stunning, even to those covering the war in Afghanistan. Hard to believe it's not even winter yet. I mean, it's well below freezing out there. Yeah, you complained a lot with 100 degree heat. I'm Remember all those days, like 43? days uh, this summer. I tried not to Doesn't look so bad too now, does much, it? but yeah. I am kind of missing it though. <laughs> All right, let's go to Frank now. Frank, uh, is it going to be even colder tonight, isn't it? Wet, it's cold, it's gloomy here in Stillwater and also sad. Now, sadness has gripped this OSU campus as the university pays tribute and honors those killed in last week's plane crash. Well, three days after a baby girl in Kansas City went missing, her parents say they had nothing to do with it. But the police aren't so sure about that. This is a, a pretty good sized fire at the Holly Refinery, just southwest of downtown Tulsa. It started uh, about an hour ago. Saving money on that trip to the grocery store takes more than just cutting out coupons. That certainly helps. When shooting for this story, we didn't have to wait long to catch a driver who didn't belong in a handicapped parking spot. You know what the fine is now? No. If, if they enforce it, it's $500. Is it really? I was shocked to hear those numbers this morning. Were you surprised at all? Thinking all right, we're going to see lots of uh, floats, marching bands, yeah. uh, balloons, kids, animals, elves, and I understand the big guy may even be here. He's Ooh. trying to clear a schedule. The Are big you, guy, you know yes. who that is, don't you? Making an early appearance. That's we're right. To see Santa. I'm talking about uh, Frank Mitchell. Okay. And <laughs> all right, Frank. Uh, Frank is out on the parade ground. He'll be out uh, throughout the evening. Hi, Frank. We have a front row seat, and you at home have a front row seat of this wonderful parade today. Probably the best seat in the house. It's Channel 8's Keith Taylor. He's going to be on the street throughout the morning. Keith, uh, good morning to you. Look at her belt buckle. Look at mine. <laughs> Look at my shoes. Look at her boots. Who do you think has the edge today in uh, today's Anchor Challenge? <laughs> All right, wraps it up here. A depressing night for the Sooners <laughs> and their fans. Jubilant Woo! night for Kristen and all the OSU fans. 44-10 yeah. the final. Let's, uh, Sorry, it's a good game. You played let's well. Let's warm up now. Get in line and fight the traffic back to Tulsa. Back to you, Yvonne. Good afternoon. First on eight, Green Country is awash with rain. Yeah, Frank has been tracking some nasty weather over the past 24 hours. Uh, we set a record, Frank. Why not? <laughs> That's right. In other top news tonight, more earthquakes rattle houses and nerves here in Oklahoma. The first one came last night. Foundation repair companies are getting a lot of calls from homeowners worried about the earthquakes. Yeah, they say the shaking your home took could mean structural damage. Channel 8's Kim Jackson did some checking to help you locate any issues. Not every home experiences damages. Age could be a factor, but experts say there is nothing you can do to prevent a crack from forming. A six-year-old is left to fend for himself after being abandoned at his bus stop. It happened in Cleveland yesterday. A multi-county drug crackdown that's 305 offenders here in northeast Oklahoma. Oklahoma's Bureau of Narcotics teamed up with local police to seize 10 meth lab. A police officer in Owasso is being honored for his bravery. Last year, Detective Jason Woodruff stopped an armed robbery at a gas station that ended with a shootout. Fed up with banks, a lot of consumers have recently thought about moving their money. Yeah, in fact, a social media movement declared last Saturday Bank Transfer Day. No matter how you feel about big banks, is it worth it for your bottom line? Here's more in tonight's money coverage you can count on. On Tulsa's Channel 8. Looking forward to that. That is a place to be right now if yes. you love country music. Les, you yeah. do. Yeah, so. I love it. I listen envious to it all stunning. the time. Yeah. yeah. All right, coming up next, some amazing video captured of an Oklahoma twister. Take a look at this. Talk about driving into danger. Storm chasers had the cameras rolling when they encountered this tornado here in Oklahoma. Twister literally crossed the street right in front of them. Much of southwestern Oklahoma spent part of Monday under tornado watches and warnings. Forecasters say some of the storms packed winds of more than 100 miles an hour. Mm, wow. So here's a good question. Can your dogs warn you ahead of time before an earthquake? Well, since Friday. Cold couple of days coming up and no tornadoes. Yeah, we need to dry out too, don't we? Yeah, can you imagine we're saying that? <laughs> yeah. that that's rare for us to say. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Well, coming up, Mike Gundy is trying to figure out which Texas team he's going to be playing this, playing against this weekend. Plus, Penn State is rocked by scandal. Can Joe Paz survive the controversy? We'll have the latest.
pretty fascinating. Mm -hmm. All of the little squares mean something different, and the players know what it means, but no one else does. Yeah, a few teams are using that. Yeah. Right? It's yeah. confusing. Oregon does it quite. I think that Oregon was the first one to do it, but yeah, it's a little confusing. It's confusing. The whole idea is to be confusing. <laughs> That's right. It? All right, yeah. thanks, Ray. That's our news tonight. Thanks for watching. That's the capture and death of Osama bin Laden. Yeah, word of his death surfaced last night, setting off celebrations around the world. Tonight, we're covering that and what this means for the war on terror. But first, ABC's John Hedren dissects the operation. Well, the reaction to bin Laden's death was swift and stunning, even to those covering the war in Afghanistan. This morning, just hours after the news broke, I talked with veteran journalist Mike Betcher. He's one of only a few full-time reporters embedded with our troops. Here's a portion of my interview with Betcher via Skype. I was sort of stunned and, and still, uh, you know, trying to imagine what this means in the long run. Do you think there will be a sense of heightened alert among the the, the troop, the soldiers now, is it, for a lack of a better term, will be business as usual? These soldiers will go on with their mission. Uh, their mission is to find their enemy, which is the Taliban and al-Qaeda fighters who are here, and to allow the growth uh, of Afghan governance in these formerly ungovernable areas of Afghanistan. And that's what they will continue to do. Betcher was stunned by the news, but what about the troops? What's their reaction to Ben Laden's death? I'll share that with you tonight at 6.30. Well, tonight the Tulsa School Board is expected to give the green light to a plan that would consolidate and close some Tulsa public schools. News Channel Burt Mumlo will be at tonight's meeting, and Burt, no matter what, this vote will have dramatic impact on the district, won't it? All right, thanks, Bert. Uh, you can get much more information about the consolidation plan on our website, k2l.com. Just look for the Project Schoolhouse icon. We'll also be updating parents throughout tonight's meeting and let you know the moment the vote is official. There will also be extensive coverage tonight at 10 o'clock right here on News Channel. Well, mother of three wants to know since when is wanting to take your kids off the school bus a crime? Yeah, she and her husband were arrested after a confrontation with a school bus driver. Chuck, I've never seen anything like this before. You know, parts of the city are completely unrecognizable, total devastation. You know, cars and trucks are stacked and strewn everywhere. Power lines are down. People are just walking aimlessly, uh, searching through the rubble. And to top it off, the weather has been horrible today. We're inside the satellite truck now because because there's too much lightning outside to be safe to be outside right now, and it's been raining all day today. It is a very sad, sad sight for so many people. But we've had a lot of tornadoes, but this is the worst tornado we've had. 83-year-old Mary Hazelbaker and her sister can't help but stare at the rubble of what was Mary's home for nearly half a century. She fought back tears as she thought about the tragedy. I just feel like crying. <laughs> I do. I'll probably try cry tonight about it. I like that tree. See that tree? It's over 100 years old. That's an oak tree. That's an oak tree. I couldn't even get my hands around it. Going to church may have saved Mary from the tornado's fury. The twister tore through her Joplin neighborhood around 6 Sunday evening while she was attending services. Okay. I was at church when it happened. I wasn't here. No, I was right here. Right here at the salon. Uh -oh. Right here at the salon, Mary. Well, I remember you. Oh, no. Mary's grief has plenty of company. Homes and businesses, as far as the eye can see, destroyed, including a beauty salon right next door. Were you prepared for this this morning to see this? No. No. You can't. I don't think you can be prepared for this. I don't think I don't, it's too overwhelming. <laughs> like so many others, Mary's life will never be the same. I asked her what she's going to do now. Her reply, I don't know. You tell me. All of it's all gone. It's all gone. Well, it, our life's all that matters. We are. I'm just glad you're okay. All the trip to the grocery store, fun for a few, but for many others, a chore. A dreaded chore after one look at that grocery bill. Okay, we need, oh, there are eggs over there. Okay, well, we're almost done, okay? Don't worry. Hannah Middlebrook spends about $300 a month buying groceries for her family of five, which includes her three little boys. Like many Americans, she'd like to cut back on her grocery budget. I'm always looking for ways to save, yeah. We, we do coupons. Saving money on that trip to the grocery store takes more than just cutting out coupons. That certainly helps. But if you're really serious about cutting your grocery budget, it takes a little planning and strategy. Betty Casey, editor of Tulsa Kids Magazine, says there are three common mistakes shoppers like Middlebrook can make 
can hike their grocery bill. The first, shopping while hungry. Do you ever shop hungry? Very rarely. Yeah, that's not wise for me. <laughs> Next on the list, it can cost you more at the grocery store, too many trips. Even kids pick up on that one. We used to wait in the car for ages for you when you said you were just getting some milk. And you'd go, you'd wait in the car with daddy, that's right. And I'd go in for a thing of milk and I'd come out with all these bags. And number three on the don't do this or you'll pay more list, don't take the kids. Come here, kiddo. Elliot, I'd like you to help me. Hang on. Somebody walking through. Sorry. I understand. I think that's probably a good idea not to run into people. We get some fruit. But what if you have to take the kids? Casey says prepare your children before the trip. Maybe saying, you know, you can choose between these two types of cereal when you get to the cereal aisle, or you we're going to buy these things and you help me look for it. And there are other ways to avoid paying too much of the grocery store. <laughs> Watch the price scanner. Mistakes are common. Only use coupons for items you normally use. And buy generic or store brands if you can. If you're really thoughtful in what you do, you could, you, to, you could save $100 or more on your budget a month. We've got everything. Making your trip to the grocery store not nearly as expensive and far less dreaded.